Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back. Uh, I am a bit of a drowned rat, as you can see. I just was attempting to go out to breakfast with a friend, friend, but it is pouring down rain in Houston. The street was flooded, so I turned around and came back, and I'm soaked. So anyway, I thought I would do my empties because I didn't get to do them on Friday. So this is about nine days worth from the previous Friday. I am going to talk about some candles because they're taking up space. I want to get them out, <clears throat> especially this guy right here. This is a Homeworks uh, candle. It's a four wick candle. Wow, it still smells good too. This I'm sure is two years old and let me see, F18. So I think it is, yeah, two years old. And the scent in this was uh, Autumn Pumpkin, which is pumpkins, orange, cardamom, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. So, so good, really, really good. I don't know, I haven't looked it seems to me that this year there was one on the set I don't on, on the site on QVC website I don't know if it's still there or not but anyhow it's a gorgeous scent and the burn was also perfect no problems whatsoever no puny wicks no cotton balling no tunneling no nothing so um it's I found it I didn't even know I had it I found it when I was like rearranging um, my um winter candles and I found this in a cupboard. It's like, oh, I need to burn that. So this, these candles are what I've burned. I guess I did my last candles on November. Well, no, that can't be right. I think I, at the end of November, I did a candle empty. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but anyhow, I would like to keep this just for decor, but it's very big, it's heavy, it takes up a lot of space. And with me, you know, moving back to Canada at some point, I'm just being really cognizant of stuff that comes in and stays in the house. So unfortunately, I have to let that go. All right, what else did I burn? I burned frozen balsam the week I put up the tree, like in between, I guess, well, that last week of November. I started burning it. This is so good. A perfect, perfect burn. No tunneling, no puny wicks. Those are my wick nibs there that I just kind of pop off. Um, a, a teeny bit of sooting around the top, but otherwise no problems whatsoever. A really nice, let's see when this one was poured in 2019. Um, and this is fir balsam, frosted ozone, bergamot, oak moss, and evergreen. So if you can't get this on the QVC website, try the Ulta website or try the Homeworks. Um, I think it's actually homeworks.shop, if I'm not mistaken. So there's three places you can get online uh, Homeworks candles. So I definitely recommend that one if you like Christmas tree balsam scents. I get that one every year. Then, I guess I don't have a list of this guy but it is uh, Country Road. And this was in the fall. There was a new collection that came out in the fall. This one, I can't remember if there was two in the collection or three in the, there was three in the collection. There was the Buffalo Plaid one, which was like mulled wine, I think. I didn't love that one. Another one was, oh, I think I have it in there. I think it was like a pine something or other. And this one, Gala Apple, a Clove Leaf, Orange Slices, and Tonka Bean. This was really, really good. I really got the warm clove and the tonka bean together. Really, it was, it was really, really nice. This one also, I had no burns. It's self-extinguished though. Two self-extinguished before the other two, which is kind of weird. Um, but anyway, no complaints at all. I really, really enjoyed that one, that candle. Uh, this one is, ah, uh, hmm, this is tricky. This is tricky. This is peppermint sugar. Bath and Body Works peppermint sugar. I don't know if that's the lid to, I don't think it's the lid to this, but anyway, uh, peppermint sugar, peppermint sugar cookie, sorry. So this was like the bomb.com. Everybody's getting hordes of them. I got one and then it's like, you know what? I'm going to go get another one. I got one online with a haul and then I went back and I bought another one. Well, let me just dump that out. As you can see, this is not from burning. This is from melting. I burned it whatever that was, not quite halfway down, maybe a third of the way down. And I wasn't really getting any scent from this. Like, well, that's really weird because people are loving, loving, loving this candle and I'm not. So I put it in the crock and um, it didn't do much better. So currently it's sitting over by the back door to be returned the next time if I go to Bath and Body Works anytime soon, which I'm not really planning a trip, but I am gonna return it, exchange it. 
And then we have another Bath and Body, or sorry, a Homeworks candle. And this stunning package is like metallic hobnail. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is in the scent uh, Sugar Plum Blackberry, which is Juicy Blackberries Plum Sandalwood Vanilla Whipped Cream. It was gorgeous. Scent Appeal 10. Throw 9. 9. Um, burn 10. Like, there's no soot in here. Well, maybe itsy bitsy bit. I mean, itty bitty bit. Itty bitty bit. Um, the only thing with this guy is burn perfectly all the way down to the final quarter. To I can't see through this glass. Yeah, to right about there, I guess. The final quarter of it, I, mel I cotton balled it four times in a quarter of a candle. I would cotton ball it, relight it, it would get a great pool and poof, there go the wicks again. I'm not sure what happened there. But having said that, I definitely would repurchase again. It came in a set of two and the other one, or was it two of the same at two different collections? Anyway, there's two collections of these uh, metallic hobnail uh, on QVC got.com and again i i don't even know if they're still available i haven't looked in a few days um but if they are still there i definitely recommend this one i have not burned the other set the other complimentary set yet which i can't remember what it is but uh anyway sugar plum blackberry get it get it get it yes i'm going to save this gorgeous jar for something and i just said didn't i just say i'm not keeping crap but i i i'm gonna keep that crap Okay, so let's get into wax empties then. So again, this is upstairs, downstairs for the last nine days or so. Uh, we'll start with upstairs. Upstairs, I have three full-size warmers and one wall plug-in. So I did have a couple of samples here. Uh, this one's Case Creations Vanilla Swirl, and I melted this in my bedroom, and I did really enjoy it. Let's make this little trash bin right there. Whoops. Um, yeah, my hair, my hairdresser like really, really skinned me yesterday. So anyway, it's just hair. It'll grow it. I'm not that concerned. Um, anyway, Case Creations Pineapple Upside Down Cake. This was also good. I don't particularly care for pineapple scents in my wax, um, especially if they're like that artificial pineapple. Uh, this was kind of light though. It was, I definitely got the pineapple and a little bit of cake note, but overall just the throw was a little low for me. It was like six, six and a half. And I, I, I like things to blow me out. I want to know you're there. Uh, this was a sample from Vintage Chic Scent when I ordered the poinsettias last week, Palo Santo Bakery, Palo Santo and Bakery. This was really good. I really got the Palo Santo in here. This was really, really nice. I mean, if I were to repurchase, which I'm not because I'm on like in wax, wax jail, uh, I would repurchase that one. And from Rainbow Melts, this was part of the pumpkin uh, sampler, pumpkin hotcakes, sweet pumpkin and maple hotcakes. And this also was very good. I mean, just about everything from Rainbow Melts is. But I definitely got the, the, um, the maple in this came out way ahead of the pumpkin. Uh, also upstairs, I melted a marshmallow candy cane from Better Homes and Gardens. This is at least two years old. It's, see how yellow it is? At least two years old. But I have to say, the scent is good. It's still very, very nice. Yeah, it's a really nice scent. Pumpkin, uh, sorry, not pumpkin, marshmallow mint. But um, I remember getting these... It, these are two years old, at least two years old. Um, and they were really blow you out of the house. I loved it. It was strong. It's the throw for me now. I was getting seven, seven and a half, like a, a strong medium, but it certainly wasn't a blowout like it was. And I also uh, melted Better Homes and Gardens, Red, Berry, and Oak. This was very good also. I don't know when I got this, but it was, it was definitely good. I definitely got a woody note and a berry note together. Very nice. Two bags I've been working on and emptied is a Yankee Candle Beach Walk. This was a... Um, what they call them, not a jar pedestal, not like that pedestal, it's just, uh, da, 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 da. you guys know. Um, anyhow, it was on clearance, like maybe, not this past summer, but the summer before that, or the fall before that, Beach Walk, if I didn't say that. Anyway, uh, I think it was $5, and I melted it and made tarts from that. And then from Rainbow Melts Castaway, which is sea spray, ocean air, and wild blackberries. 
This was a breakaway bar um, and it has an S on there, if you can see the S, because Susan Fitzpatrick and I, you know, Susan, she's a YouTube video here, a YouTube channel. If you don't know her, you should subscribe. Uh, Susan and I went splits on customs order and that was her pick. Okay, then downstairs I have five full-size warmers. Don't ask. Um, and then t I just melted this last night and it's going to be on Mix It Monday in my uh, Sensi VIP group. So go ahead and uh, join that. I mixed Perfect Peppermint and Pretty in Plaid and it was a good mix. That was a thumbs up mix. Let's see what else we have here. This was last Wednesday's Walmart Wax Wednesday from Sensational Autumn Valley. Loved it. Loved it, loved it. Golden amber and balsam, and it was oh, really, really nice. The amber really balsam, some balsam, pine, fir, sometimes they can be a little astringent, and that amber was just enough to mellow it out and round it out. It was very, very nice. I would repurchase that again, again, if I wasn't in wax jail. And I don't really, I'm not planning on any purchases. I'm, other than, you know, I'm a Sensi consultant, so you'll definitely see Sensi come in the house, but. I'm really not trying to get any more than that. Uh, speaking of Scentsy, I melted a caramel sugar cone tester. And if you have a bunch of these testers, um, the best way to do it that I, that works for me, uh, Patricia told me this, take a sharp paring knife and just score it right down the middle. Like you gotta go all the way down and then each half will pop out. And that's good too, because then you can mix. If you wanna mix two, uh, testers, you have two halves, so you can do that. And I melt my testers in tea lights. They're a perfect size for tea light. Okay, let's talk about some bags then. Uh, Rainbow Melt Sweet Espresso Mornings is espresso, blueberry waffles, vanilla ice cream, and sugar cookie. And this was from a coffee sampler, if I'm not mistaken. I could be. But it was really good. Crystal does coffee very well, very, very well. Uh, also from Rainbow Melts is uh, Apple Caramel Crunch, which is caramel apples and sweet crunchy topping. I don't remember how I got this. Was this, a, was this a sampler or just, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, this was really good. This was really a blow you out one. This is like eight and a half, nine. It was way up there. Yeah, really, really good apple caramel. Yep. No problems there. And then from Kay's Creations, I melted a peppermint bark, which is exactly what it is, chocolate and peppermint. The throw on this was pretty good. I wish, I wish, a, Kathy is the owner, Kathy. I wish she would put the pour date on here. And I didn't date them because I'm not used to doing that so much anymore. But um, anyway, this is new. And the throw on this peppermint bark was pretty decent. Seven and a half, eight out of 10. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, white burn tea and lemon. And I pulled this out. What did I pull this out for? Oh, Canada Kim and I had a coffee chat last week, uh, a FaceTime chat. And, I, and it was in the morning and I thought, let me just do something different than coffee. So I pulled out tea and lemon and it's really good. This, gosh, this candle that I'm obviously, I melted it and made tarts. Um, and I'm just gonna say this is two years old. I'm gonna say this is two years old because the, obviously it was in a big bag and I keep you know, get, putting them in smaller, smaller bags to save space. And it looks like they're easier to get through. It's just kind of a mental thing too. But anyway, the throw on this tea and lemon two years later is still nine, 10 out of 10. Blow you out for sure. Yeah, it's raining again. Okay, what else do we have here? I, oh yeah, I, this is it. This was last Monday's, this past Monday's Mix It Monday in my VIP group. I mixed Blue, Blue Christmas and Arctic Kiss. Also a very successful mix. I really enjoyed that one. Oops, I forgot this guy. Um, and the rest is Scentsy. Okay, so this was a couple of chunks left over from a brick. Uh, I think it was three full-size chunks and there's three half chunks there left now. So this is was gifted to me from Joshua. Uh, Joshua has, is a... Uh, fellow consultant and friend and YouTube creator as well. Joshua Flores. Check him out. This was caramel sugar cookie. This is so good. I never knew this existed. I don't know how I slept through this. This is the bomb.com. I will definitely purchase more of this. If it ever came back in a brick, I would definitely get it, get, get it in a brick. Oh, it's, it's, it is sweet, obviously. Obviously, it's sweet. 
caramel sugar, but you get the definitely you get a cookie note with there in there as well. Really, really good. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm going so crazy over this, but anyhow. So that will put away to finish those. What did I do with? Oh gosh. Look, I, I put that in my in my throwaway basket. Uh, okay, best in snow. I melted that. That was good. And vanilla suede. This was a bring back my bar. I really enjoyed this one also. Uh, definitely. Um, it's the suede note gives it a masculine twist, but the vanilla really kind of rounds it out, mellows it down. Um, yeah, I would purchase this one again too. Vanilla suede. Thumbs up. And then finally, I melted some of my Crimson Berry Christmas. Oops, sorry. Crimson Berry Christmas. Um, yes, like berries and cinnamon. It's extremely good. Okay, that's it. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all my empties and uh, go dry off. And I guess I'm going to have breakfast by myself since I'm not going out for breakfast. So that's it, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.